Hi, this is Ikra Fey from Spectro Audio and this is the overview video for the CB2K 2.8 update. CB2K 2.8 adds support for microtonal scales, meaning you can now play melodies and sequences that are quantized to notes outside the standard 12-tone equal temperament. To use a microtonal scale, simply go to the quantizer tab and select the microtonal mode. You can then select an already existing scale or create your own using the scale editor. Microscales can be created by typing specific values in the scale editor. These values can be written as sense, ratio, or fraction relative to the root note, as well as specific hertz values such as 100 hertz or 200 hertz. Each value will be added to the scale as a note. To make a microtonal scale repeat over a number of octaves, simply add 2 by 1 in the end of your scale. It's also a good idea to make sure that the values in your scale are not greater than 2. CV2K 2.8 also includes support for Scala files. This is a great feature for trying new scales and sharing the same scale between CV2Kit and other hardware synthesizers, such as the Quark Monolog. We've added new secret options to CV2Kit. You can enable these options by editing the settings.json file inside the CV2Kit app container. Our goal is to use these secret options to test new features that may end up being fully implemented in future updates. Please check the user manual for more details. The 2.8 update includes two secret options, auto-enable DSP and calibration level. The auto-enable DSP is self-explanatory. When enabled, CV2Kit will automatically turn DSP on when the app is launched. The calibration level option lets you change the precision of the calibration process. Increasing the calibration level will increase the precision, but it will also increase the time CV2Kit takes to calibrate your oscillators. CV2K 2.8 also includes a new reset input for the sequencer module and improvements to the DSP engine in the Windows version. For more information about CV2Kit, visit spectroaudio.com. As always, thanks for watching.